Hey guys, it's Ryan Pessoa. I'm a professional FIFA esports player for Man City. And today I'm gonna to be answering some of your questions. Okay, first question is from Tamer from Syria. I think I pronounced that correctly, but yeah, his first question is, what does it mean to represent Manchester City? And quite simply, it's amazing to be representing such a club of, of such stature in the world. They've been dominant in the Premier League for the last couple of years, especially, and having such great teammates around me or great teammate and great staff to help us succeed, it's a, it's a massive honor to be representing such a big club. All right, second question is from Sagar from India. And his question is, what is the future of esports? It certainly looks bright. I'm guessing it means <laughs> esports like FIFA esports, not just esports in general, but of course, FIFA esports is starting to come on leaps and bounds. We've had a lot of tournaments, we've had a lot of, of integrations from like major competitions in football itself, like the E Champions League, the E Premier League, which of course my teammate ended up winning for City as well. And yeah, I think the future, as you said, it looks bright. There's a lot more opportunities coming up, a lot more ways to, I guess, elevate all the players in the scene and more opportunities. And yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the way it's going. All right, into question number three is from Gene from Brazil. What are the most simple and effective skill moves in FIFA? Oh, the thing is, the meta changes. Like, if you ask me this at the start of FIFA 21, I would say step overs, without doubt, in previous years, drag backs. I'd say this year, it's not simple. I would say simple, it's just an elastical. I would say it's very simple. It's not that hard to learn once you get to the grips of it with the controller and just the utilization of the analog stick, the angles and everything. It's not that hard to do and the lack of care cancels. This year in FIFA 21, skill cancels have been like the priority or the, the main way to beat defenders. So if you can integrate that into your game, it, it doesn't take a lot in my opinion to do that. It's just about practice. All right, next question is from Laxman from India. What is your favorite movie? Ah, he got me. I'll be, I'll be real, I'm not like a movie guy. I'm more of a TV show type of person, but I'd say my favorite movie is either Shawshank Redemption or Interstellar, but I, I wanna say Interstellar just because I can remember that a lot more. It's tough though. As I say, I'm more of a, a TV show type of guy, but yeah, movies, it's out of those two. I, I don't know, you know, there's so many others that I've liked. Like, I liked Hunger Games at the start. I don't know, but I wouldn't say it's like a favorite movie though, but yeah, that's probably it. Um, the next question is from Abdurrahim. I think I pronounced that correctly. Apologies is if not, sorry. Um, from Portugal as well. Um, what do you hope to achieve with Manchester City? Now, of course, being a player, competing as well, having that competitive nature, for me is always wanting to win and be successful. And as I said, like the last two years especially, haven't gone the way I would have liked in terms of performance, but the aim for me is just to keep on improving. I don't have that, well, I say I used to, when I came into the scene, I had that set goal of, oh, I want to win this championship, that championship, whatever. The main aim for me is just to make sure that I'm able to play my best every single game I play in, or try and be as consistent as possible. And if I do that, I'll win championships. It's as simple as that. At what point did you realize I could go pro with this? This is from Jack from the United Kingdom. Um, I always speak about my entrance into esports, into FIFA esports being like sort of unorthodox just because I never had the set aim to become a FIFA esports player. Um, I always played FIFA from when I was younger. It's the first game I, I played and it was something where whenever I played against my friends, it was dominant. Whitewashes, they could like, uh, if my friends see this, it was destruction. And I remember playing for years and years. I think it was maybe four years. None of my friends could beat me. And obviously I knew that I was amazing at FIFA then, but again, it sort of came into when I qualified for my first tournament in Munich, I ended up winning that to qualify for the World Cup. That's probably where, actually that's a lie, the realization didn't kick in until after the World Cup because I, I didn't really realize how big of a thing it was until it was done. But yeah, again, I'd say, yeah, after the World Cup is when I thought, okay, this could be like a career potentially. The next question is from Callum from the United Kingdom. If you were a pro footballer, where would you play? All right, so I'll be honest, I'm rapid. Like, I'm, I'm pacey, I'll be honest, like straight up. But I would play, it depends, because for Sunday League, when I was younger, I used to play on the wing. I would say I'm more, I'm not really a winger, in all honesty, I've got the pace, but I would say I'm more, well, when I play 11 aside or, or seven aside, I play right back or centre back in seven aside. So yeah, I'd say right back if it was 11 aside. We have a, another question here from Thomas from Zimbabwe. What would you name your ship or yacht? Jesus, would I ever have one? I don't even. Um, I'll call it, I'm gonna say, I don't, I honestly don't know. I never thought about that. This is very, 
like instinct. I'll call it the Pessoa, just to keep the family name flowing, you know? <laughs> Excuse the pun, you know, flowing. Yeah, there we go. We'll skip next question. Next question. <laughs> okay, next question is from David from the United States. And he asks, who is my favorite Manchester City player in FIFA? The thing is with FIFA and of course for real life football, there's a difference, you know, when we play, when we compete, there's like a meta you have to abide by in order to, to have the most success. I would say notable mention will probably be KDB, but for me, it's probably Kyle Walker, just because again, at the start of the year, he had that centre-back card, he's got the pace, he's got the physicality, the defending stats as well, he's, he's well, I say, more agile than other centre-backs on the game. So I'd say for, for, for me, Kyle Walker would probably be the most, well, I'd say he's the most used player in my perspective anyway from an ultimate team. It kind of depends because even now there's new cars that come into the game like Raheem Sterling, he's got five star, five star, we've got, we're getting to technicalities, but yeah, for me, Kyle Walker probably, I'd say. The penultimate question from Martin from the United Kingdom as well. What was your favourite game as a child and what was your first console? Um, first console that I actually owned was a PS2. First console that I played on was, I think it was a PS1. I remember my sister had it, she had Mortal Kombat, but my favourite game as a child, oh Lord. This is tough. You'd expect me to say FIFA, but... <sighs> I don't know. I think it actually, it probably is FIFA, just because of the amount of hours I used to spend on it. Player career modes, manager career modes. I never used to play against people um, on PS2. I never used to do that. People never, people never used to come over to my house to play. I used to go to like an after school club where I'd play against like people there, but that was like sporadically. It wasn't something that was like on a continuous basis. But yeah, I would say FIFA probably was my favourite growing up. All right, last but not least, a question from Connor from the United Kingdom. How much do you practice a day? Um, I would say the first couple of months. If we're saying like, okay, so when the game comes out the first week, I'm not even joking, it's anywhere between 10 to 15 hours a day. Like, that's crazy that sound for like the first couple of weeks. And then it sort of dies down a bit. I get a bit fatigued, I'll be honest. A lot of the time at the start, I honestly get like a, a I get burnt out because of that. I don't know if I'm gonna follow the same routine for the next few for because of that, but yeah, it changes as the year progresses. But yeah, I'd probably say up until three weeks, maybe about 15 hours maximum per day, then it slowly goes down to about 10. And then after that, it straight down. I'll be honest, it drops to a couple of hours, hours a day, mainly just playing on the weekends for champions and practice tournaments. But yeah, that's, that's mainly it. All right, I've been Ryan Pessoa. I appreciate all the questions that were sent in. And until next time, I'll see you then.